Hi, welcome to OTR Miniatures. I'm Tim Hodges and today we're looking at Battle Games in Middle-earth. As I mentioned in the intro, we are kicking off Tolkien Tuesdays with Battle Games in Middle-earth issue 1. So we are facing off with Aragorn against 12 Moria Goblins. Let's get set up with a two foot by two foot playing area and then we'll begin the um, scenario. So the playthrough in this issue is Goblin Ambush. It's not from the films, it just represents a scenario that Aragorn may have encountered um, with him being a ranger. So let's get into it. I have set up a two foot by two foot gaming area which is represented by the four white dice in the corners winning the game. So good versus evil. The evil side wins the game if Aragorn is killed. The good side wins if Aragorn manages to kill all the goblins or if he is able to break right through the goblin ambush by moving off the side of the game area opposite to the one that he started out from. So uh, priority in the first, like according to this magazine, first turn always goes to the good side. So Aragorn will be starting. So right, good starting with priority. So movement phase, starting with Aragorn moving six inches. So we move them up to the left and then, all right, let's move the goblins. So they're moving five inches. I'm going to leave the archers where they are. Uh, I'll do it the same as I did in the playthrough that you won't be seeing. I will take these goblins around the back so that as Aragorn continues his move upwards they can block him off. Now I did move that archer up before and he did come into play but there was a turn that he missed. So having prior knowledge I'm going to leave him where he is for now because then when Aragorn is in this part I can move them up and round anyway. Right, the ones at the back, especially the archers, will move this way so that they're actually in view of Aragorn and they can use their bows. Right, now we've moved up, this table edge here isn't really going to come into play. So I'll move the camera forward so you can get closer to the action and actually see what's going on. There we go, right, onto the shoot phase. Right, so in the shoot phase, player with priority can open fire. So this is the first turn, so it's a good, so Aragorn can open fire. Right, the goblins would need a five, but Aragorn is a much better shot, so he only needs a three. Oh, let's use the dark tower. Still a one. So, no hit. Right. Goblin shoot phase. So we have... Four archers. As I said, they need a five to hit. No fives. So, no wounds being dealt by the blows this turn. Right, now let's do this properly this time and roll for priority. So the goblins get priority on the six which means that if they're within five inches, then we can get into base contact with Aragorn here and stop him from moving this turn. And they are, so we will move them in. All right, let's move them like that so they're all in base contact. It doesn't say anything about support with the spearmen yeah i'm guessing as it's only the first issue it's still very simplified so each of those three are in base contact so aragorn won't be moving this turn but we can keep moving with the other goblins again we leave the archers where they are now that they've managed to trap him i'm not sure it was such a Great move putting these three to go around the back. But what I'll do is continue the move with one of them. 
And for now, I'll just leave the other two where they are as kind of a deterrent to Aragorn in case he then decides to run the other way. All right, so now we're moving on to the, the right shooting phase again for the goblins. And as Aragorn is in base contact with goblins, he's taken out of the shooting, so he won't be using his bow this, this turn. So right, archers hitting on a five. Got a five and a six. And then they are wounding on a six. So we've got a six, so Aragorn is now down to two wounds. I'll leave that dice there as a reminder of that. If he suffers three, then he is out of the game. So that's the shooting phase done. Now we're on to the fight phase. So Aragorn gets three strikes. The goblins get one each, so they're having three as well. Let's see who wins this fight. So Aragorn wins with a five. So we're pushing each of the goblins back an inch. And then Aragorn needing a four to wound. Scores no wounds. So back to priority. Aragorn gets it with a two. Right, so that could be important. So there's more goblins on this side. There's also archers on that side. Even if they moved, if Aragorn was this way, they wouldn't be able to see him. So I think I'm going to change direction with Aragorn. Move him six inches that way. And as he's moved six inches, oh, only one of these goblins can get in base contact with him. So let's do that to oh, stop him from getting any shots off. And then we just move these ones five in chase. And then luckily I left those two goblins there. What I'll do is the same again. I'll leave these two here. That archer still has sight. If I move this archer that way, then he's in sight for this guy. But then he won't be in sight if Aragorn moves any further up. Let's do it anyway. Try and end this early for the goblins. Right, so Aragorn's in base contact. As I said, he's taken out the shooting, so we have got three goblins in range. So goblins range is 18 inches, Aragorn's is 24. Needing fives to hit. They get a six and two fours, so one hit, needing a six to wound, oh, get a three, so no wound. Moving on to the fight phase, so Aragorn with his three strikes, the goblin with one. And the goblin takes it, Aragorn rolling three ones. Not looking good for Aragorn so far. Goblin needing a five to wound and he gets a six. Aragorn is down to one wound. This is not how the play previous playthrough that I was filming went at all. Aragorn made it all the way off the board but now he hasn't even made it halfway and he's already down to one wound. So Aragorn got pushed back an inch then. All right let's roll for a priority. Aragorn really needs this. So, both rolling a two. Let's just check with this. If it's a draw priority, goes to the player who didn't have it in the previous turn, which means it's Aragorn's priority, right? I'm taking that as Aragorn's priority. Let me know in the comments if I was wrong, but that's how we're playing it.
to Aragorn. Moving six, he's wanting to move straight up, get off this board as quickly as he can. All right, moving the goblins. So that goblin isn't in range. So he can't get into base contact with him. All right, Aragorn's up that side now, so he's not gonna be making a run all the way back. So we'll move these two goblins on this side over. We'll move this archer over as far as we can and move this archer over as far as we can. So he now has line of sight with Aragorn. This archer currently doesn't, but if I was to move him, hmm, if I was to move him three inches this way, so that he hasn't moved too far, then he can just about see Aragorn. I'll show you that. You can just see Aragorn's head over the corner there, so he'll be aiming for that move it back there at least then you can see the dice rolls and then what we'll also do is yep they're definitely close enough to move these two goblins in base contact with him right so they've taken his bow out of action now so shoot phase three goblin archers let's see if they can put an end to Aragorn now Right, needing fives to hit. Getting a one, a two, and a three. So no luck for the archers. Onto the fight phase. So three attacks for Aragorn. Two attacks for the goblins. Both rolling a six. And if they get a draw, Aragorn wins the fight. Um, this is because he has a higher strength value, but that's not explained in the magazine yet. So these two get pushed back. Let's see if he can wound them, take them out of play. He hasn't scored any wounds on any goblins yet. So there's still 12 of them on the board, but he takes both of these out, clearing the path ahead of him so if he gets priority now let's put them up there it's just off the table and then you can see the wound total as it racks up right priority Aragorn really needs this if he gets priority he can continue moving away from these ones they won't be able to get in base contact but then he will be able moving towards these three goblin warriors that will be able to get in base contact with him. Unless he darts off for that corner now. Which may be the best option for him. Anyway, priority. Aragorn does get it. Let's move him towards that corner. This doesn't seem right to me, seeing Aragorn fleeing. Right, let's move the goblins up. I keep knocking the dice tower. Let's move this around so that we can see this last goblin. So we'll move him up as well. He won't be able to do anything this turn, but potentially the next one he will. All right, just while I'm moving. I'll put the camera there. Better if I move that light away. Yeah. Put it there, 
that's fine. Right. So this one is just in range to get in base contact. Put these two on. But we still have the three archers, they're all in range of him. Move the camera there, you can see the archers and the dice rolls. Right, shoot face. Aragorn's in base contact, so no shooting for him. So, three goblin archers hitting on fives. Get two threes and a four. So, Aragorn escapes the arrows this time. Onto the fight phase. So, again, Aragorn, three strikes. Goblin just the one. So drawing on a four. There you go, if you can see that. Drawing on a four, so Aragorn gets it. Doesn't make it any more visible. Dice are too shiny. Right. So that one gets pushed back. Let's see if Aragorn can take him out. Aragorn needing a four. Two fours and a six. That goblin is definitely dead. So he's taken three goblins out and he is within six inches of the edge of the board now. So as he's on one wound, we could just, if he wins priority, make a run for it. All right, priority. It's a draw. Aragorn had it on the last turn, so it's switching to the goblins. So that means that they'll be able to stop him from moving off the board this turn. So let's move that one right up as far as he can. That one to join him. So that one is in range. Is that one in range? Just. He can just get into base contact that one. So Aragorn can be pushed out this way still, which means that he's not trapped, so he could be pushed back this turn, or if he wins, push them back, and then still escape on the next one if he gets priority. All right, let's move this Goblin Archer up so that he actually has a view of Aragorn. Yeah, let's move this one closer to the action. All right. Onto the shoot phase. Aragorn doesn't get a shot in this one anyway, so it'll just be the goblins. All four of their archers are still in play. Needing fives to hit, scoring three hits. Could be over for Aragorn here. One solitary six and Aragorn is dead. Let's roll that in the tower. Or a one, a two, and a four. Aragorn survives. On to the fight phase. So, five goblins, three strikes for Aragorn. Aragorn needs to win this. The goblins win it with sixes. So, Aragorn. Push back. If somehow they don't manage to score a single five, then Aragorn can still run off the board if he gets priority. But they've got the five that they needed. 
Aragorn has fallen to the mighty goblins. As I said in the previous playthrough that I'd recorded, Aragorn managed to make it off the board. In this one he failed. That was some lucky shooting from the archers to take him down, meaning that he just had to flee and the goblins just kept applying pressure to him. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.